today's a big day because Dino is a secret foodie. He's actually a builder. And we were down the pub recently having a yarn and I said to him, Dean, I said, you're a fine looking, strapping looking fella. What's the secret to success when it comes to keeping such a tight physique? <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot there. But we have had a lot of people messaging and going, oh, who is that handsome man on Facebook? Well, thank you very much. So what is, yeah, what is the secret to being fit? Now, you're a builder. It's high energy. What is, yeah. What's the key? I think it's that combination of, obviously, your work during the day. Yep. But at the same time, trying to balance out, you know, how much good food you actually can take in. Yeah, because builders eat exactly. pies, right? That's the problem. All oh, right. The so, problem is the fact that during the day, soup. the convenience, yeah. when you're caught somewhere short, yeah. it's going to pie, it's going to be a sandwich that's been made at a gas station. Right. And as soon as you go to eat that thing, you start to realise that it's not a sandwich that you would have made at home. That's so sure. true. And then you, know? you finish eating your pie and what do you want to do? Have a sleep, right? If you've eaten, yeah. Eaten too much. Too many. I know that's Definitely. happened to me. Definitely. Carbs yeah. are not great for me. No. I've just learnt this over the last few weeks and I've completely changed my um, body. Actually, I've lost about five kilos in well four done. weeks yeah. from, by eating less carbs and eating more protein. Yes. Is that kind of a lifestyle you subscribe to as well? Yeah, pretty much I'd say. Yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. I think I like to eat. Probably, yeah, far more protein than carbs. Yeah. So I have to ask, you know, pies, hamburgers, it's a lot of processed food. Yep. Clearly, you don't eat processed food a lot. Not a, not a, if I can help it, no. no yeah. That's so what, what would be your go-to? So you've had a busy day, yep. you're managing a team on a building site. What's your go-to food when you get home? Well, often if I'll make something that'll last in the fridge for yep. as long as possible. Yeah. And then that way there's always something when I get home late and I don't, you know, when you're in a rush, you don't want to sort of have to make a big hour-long meal. Yeah. You know, but so if you've true. made and we don't want to eat biscuits either because right. biscuits that's are the not other dinner. Problem. Yeah. Wine is dinner, but biscuits are not. Well, that's right. <laughs> so if you can have something sitting there, often I'll make, say, like a bean salad or – and it'll be just something that'll sit there and, you know, when there's nothing else, you have some of it. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll get – Yeah, that's right. Sometimes I'll get a, a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You know, and you've always got something that's sitting there just to add to it to make a meal. So this is what you're going to do today, right? A magical yeah, bean salad. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. straightforward. It's yeah. just something that you can make. I mean, you can add more and more stuff to it. You can really, it doesn't have to be for anyone else. Yeah. So if you want to just put anything you've got in the can. Okay, but so I just this is... start with a basic thing. And cool, so there. this is kind of a pantry recipe or pretty a fridge much. recipe. You can look for things you've got in the fridge as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Things growing definitely. outside in the garden. Like yeah. we've got some coriander today. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, if you've just dry, if you've just joined us in the show, welcome. We are live, and I can see there's a few of you watching the stream. So feel free to message in and ask questions. Say hi because we love you guys being part of the show. And also, um, I've just noticed today this segment is actually a new segment in the show, and we've called it "What Would Dino Do?" So Dino's a builder. He loves great food. He's got some awesome food hacks that over the next few months he'll be sharing with you. And we're really excited to bring that to you. So if you've got problems in your home, not not so much with your love life. He doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to guide you through that. It's not that kind of show. But if you've got problems, maybe something structural with your house, he's the guy. So all you need to do is send us in a message and say, what would Dino do? And Dino will be able to answer those questions yeah, in to. upcoming shows. Yeah, totally. Dino, let's plough into today's bean salad. Go, go, right. go. Well, generally, I just go into the uh, pantry at home, and I've always got tins of all sorts of beans. Yeah. So I really just get a selection more just for the colour than for anything else. Yeah. So I've got cannellini, yep. I've got some kidney beans. Yep. Sometimes I put broad beans in, but I'm not a fan of them personally, so I put chickpeas in. Oh, yeah. And for some more colour, often I'll have whole kernel corn. Yeah, cool. And I like to put in celery and things like that. Really, cool. I like celery, some people don't. But yeah, I, it, it is to an me, taste. Yeah, to me it just gives it some colour, because yeah. otherwise like it's it. a pretty bland looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it's all about. So really I just sort of drain all the, all the juice out. Or the um, and by the way, the recipe brine. the recipe for this is on my website. It's coming up on the screen now. There for you, super easy to make. If you head to moniquebradley.co.nz, there's a handsome picture of Dean and the recipe oh. in there. Now, this um, brine that you're washing off, I believe the term for the brine is actually aquafaba. Yes, so you told me. I the know, other day, I know. Which is a and surprise you can, to me. You can actually use that brine and you can actually whip it up if you want to make a vegan uh, version of like a chocolate mousse. You can actually whip it up 
and you can add in some dark chocolate, melted dark chocolate, mix it through, set it in the fridge, and it'll make your beautiful chocolate mousse. Nice. I know. Sounds good, eh? I know. It's super, super easy. Especially for people who don't or can't eat eggs, it's a yes. really good option. Yeah, well, luckily. What I would be your eat. favorite bean? My favorite bean? Um, I would probably say that cannellini, to be honest. Oh, yeah? Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. See, I'm quite a fan of beans, but I yep. have to ask you, Dean. I like green beans, bro. Oh, yeah, green, green beans are nice. Beans, yeah. beans, you know, there's that, that saying that beans <laughs> means farts. How do you deal <laughs> on a building site after a night of eating of your bean salad? I guess you well, might notice. It's, it's, <laughs> it's good if you're working outside, not as good if you're doing an interior uh, <laughs> bathroom renovation. That's yeah. probably, you know. Yeah. Um, but to, yeah, to be honest, it doesn't always play out. But depends if you've, you know, if you've yeah. been eating a lot of other stuff yep. that sort of is going to is going to sit it. inside you for a long time. Let's say, <laughs> for me, then the beans beautiful. probably add to it. Yeah, I'm very pro bowel health, and yeah. I know that a lot of fibre in beans is amazing. Uh, but obviously, if you are tending to be a little bit tooty in the pooper, you probably want to eat slightly less. However. What I have learnt this week is some of the reasons why we have this going on is an imbalance of learnt this from working with naturopath Lynette Hill, an imbalance between potassium and sodium, and that can aggravate your gut as well. For women in particular, if you're getting a bit puffy, so I noticed over the last few months I was getting really puffy in the hands, um, it's actually to do with fluid retention, and that means I've probably got too much sodium in my diet and not enough potassium. That's been a new learning for me. Great way to do that, because I can't eat bananas too high in carbs, is to use one of the ingredients we're adding today, which is actually avocado oil. It's actually higher in potassium than bananas are, so that's been a new learning for me. And do you do you like avocados and avocado love it, oil? Love it. Love oh, it. So Definitely good, eh? love avocados. Love making guacamole. Oh, who doesn't? But here's something to touch up to touch on that we haven't actually even talked about Talk before to me. now. Yeah, so this okay. is a surprise. This is a surprise this for is, me. Any, anything could come from okay, this. Okay, perfect. But so these you talk about, you know, different types of food. Our family, there's a sort of a history of bowel cancer. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So that thing. is another reason why I like eating more vegetables, probably, than yeah. eating a lot of meat. You probably, yeah, you I know? was going to say, you probably eat less red meat as well, I right? don't eat much red meat, no. Yeah. I've been obviously working for the last year with Ray McVinney, Master right. Chef, and he is a big believer in eating less red meat. Yes, he yes. still has a little, yeah. but less red meat, and he, he believes in Michael Pollan's view of eating more plant. Oh, That's right. the way yes. that we should be living our lives. Yeah. I mean, we're herbivores after all, not yes. just completely metasauruses. No, no, that's <laughs> oh, true. Well, no, we're omnivores. So omnivores. Omnivores. Yes, we're not, we're have not. to get that right. Now, I do have to thank Rachel Thompson. She's watching today, and she shared the show. How are you going, Rachel? She's just messaged in and said hi. Lovely to have you watching. This is Dino the Builder, if you've got any problems. Sorry. He's based on the shore. Happy to come in and uh, tidy up your problems in your home if you've got need some building or some renovation done. But he also whip you up a delicious bean salad, so that's <laughs> yeah, a bonus. True. So yeah. obviously Not every builder brings bean salad no, to their clients, so that's for sure. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Now I was gonna say, builders are lunchboxes. Yep. Are they? Are they? Have have trends changed? I know I've had friends in the building industry for you know many years. Yes, it's always been the pies. It's always been you know they walk into a pie shop and that's what they have for lunch. Yeah. Have you seen changes as nutrition changes have happened in people's mindsets? Have you seen that happen too? I suppose what I see the most yeah. is these in the building industry. You get some guys that you know are just normal sort of individuals, but you get others that are say gym people. Yeah. Okay. Those guys will work. They'll then go to the gym. Yeah. During the day, they'll be eating. I mean, they'll have things like they'll steam, um, say, kumra the day before and bring that to work. Serious. Yep. Wow. We used to, you know, well, as I say, with the um, having, say, a, a roasted chicken from the supermarket, even at home, we'll just sort of, I'll split that off. You know, once a week, I might buy one. I'll split the whole thing off, fill up a Tupperware. That sits in the fridge as well. And then sometimes just. Grab a, a small one for work, put some chicken Beautiful. in, put some bean salad in. It doesn't mean you might not also grab something down the road, yeah, but you course. don't have to. You <laughs> no, don't have no, to. it's and just a little added bonus. That's right. That's what, rather that's than what relying I find, on it. That's so, um, awesome. Yeah. Very nice. So it's good to see lots of colour coming through. When I was a performing arts, um, not a performing arts, when I was a children's entertainer back in the yes. day, one of the things I used to try and teach the kids is about filling your body full of rainbows because right. by adding lots of different fruit and vegetables yes. and, you know, of all the different colours, you're adding in all the other antioxidants, which is, of course, good. 
And I'm a firm believer that you are what you eat, obviously. Sure. So the more processed food you eat, the more processed brain your brain is. Oh, yeah. And for kids, obviously, they're so influenced by everything they eat and everything that they're educated and, and, and thrown into in their lives, you know, for their sure. environment. Yep. So giving them as much uh, positivity inside oh, yeah. and out, I think, is so important. Yep. Now, you're, you know, you're a dad as well. Have you yep. always tried to encourage your kids to eat well? Yeah, I'm very lucky. They, they really like... Um, healthy food oh, That's it. I remember oh yes. when my daughter was quite young we'd go if we went out to dinner yeah she would want green beans and rice steamed rice and green beans wow. that's all she wanted that's incredible yeah now that was pretty and then you get the kids would go to a party and there'd be things like chicken nuggets and they didn't actually they didn't and as time's gone by they haven't changed they actually that's really incredible. like healthy food yep. that's amazing yep. All right, so we're looking good. Now, this hearty feed that you're yep. producing here, how long is that going to last in the fridge? A week? Yeah, probably a week because what will happen is the day I, pro I first make it, I'll probably have that um, for dinner that night. You know, and then over the rest of the week, I'll probably take some to work on different days. Mm -hmm. And then other days, you know, I'll just it, – it depends. We're all busy. That's yeah, the reality. Yeah, we are all busy. You know? hey? there's, there's nights when I finish work, still get home, have to do invoicing, have to oh. go through – you know, the joy go of being through. a business owner, All, right? That's right. There's just so many sort of things to do. So to have something there is just a real, yeah. a real bonus, I to be totally honest. I totally agree. You know? Okay, so what do we do next? Do you still need this one? Uh, no, that's cool. Brilliant. So we've got, we've got our beans in there. We've got some corn in there. We've got the celery. So now we've got some colour. Beautiful. We've sort of got it in a container that I would probably tend to have it in myself, funnily okay, enough. Okay, perfect. Not if I was, you know. Presenting it to anybody, but if it was going to sit <laughs> well, in my fridge, this is exactly how it would be. So that's I thought right. that's what I've got. Yep. So I really would get it. The next thing is, it, I, I like putting a bit of coriander. I quite mm -hmm. like the flavour. So there'll be a little bit of that. Yep. So you how use the stalks and oh, it's clean enough. Clean enough. Um, for us. You use the stalks <laughs> and the leaves. Yep. Um, I probably, I mean, you probably can use the stalks, but yeah. you know, I'm not a fan of eating, you know. For sure. Dorky bits, to the, be honest. Um, the stalks have a slightly more intense flavour as oh, well. Is that so right? it depends on your palate. Yep. So if you like it, if you're not a huge fan of coriander, number one, don't use it. Or yes. you start off gently with the um, leaves. My yep. mum, who's actually a cooking teacher, could never eat olives and she could never eat coriander. Is that right? So she changed her taste buds, um, her palate, by actually. Um, eating a little bit of it every day, oh, and I after it. I think it's after about twelve days, yeah. your your taste buds completely change. But just it's the cool. smell of it, yeah. I know I can smell right? it over here. It's amazing. So good. That's why someone Beautiful. make like a green Thai curry. Same sort of thing. Yeah. It's just that coriander. And again, you talk about avocados, making guacamole. Oh yeah. You know, so you got your lemon, oh, your I onion. I never thought your, to put coriander oh, in it. Yeah, every day. It's just, yeah, it's cool. So that's all our ingredients, pretty much. So we've got a. You know, a reasonable sort of colour yep. combination amongst that. Beautiful, looking good. So I, I, what I've found is I, because I like that coriander lemon thing, yep. but, big but, yep. I found if I'm not careful, I put too much lemon in and it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't uh, work for it, you. It doesn't work very well when I put the other oh, okay, pieces. Oh, okay, because you're layering the flavours now, aren't you? Remember, I'm not a chef. No, that's I'm just, true. I'm not layering either. I'm just putting it in. You know? <laughs> so really, I just put I it. Love it. I just, it's real speak. Someone else, people. someone else could tell me what I've done. I'll just tell you how I do it. You know? <laughs> so we've got yeah, a bit of lemon. Um, what I really like is cracked pepper. Yep, heaps of it. But yep, go again, crazy. Probably, that's my you're, preference. You're taking most of this home with you, buddy. Oh, cool. Yep. Is that the right way around? You got to twist it the other way. That way. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, how's See? that? It works. The, that's pretty good. It's a bit like it building, you know. Yeah. You got to know how to actually use your tools. So have you noticed, you know, with the with the guys that you've worked with over the years, when yep. they haven't eaten well, has it affected their performance? Has it affected their their mindset? Has it affected their energy? What is surprising is watching some guys, and it doesn't matter how old they are, it can yep. be the young ones, eat at, at lunchtime and then pretty much be falling asleep. Because we'll have we sort of have a, just two breaks a day. Yep. We'll have a half an hour in the morning, yep. and that sort of combines our both smoke it and then half an hour for lunch. But by the end of that half an hour, this guy's actually, you know, sort of nearly nodding off. Are you for real? Well, I mean, how are you, you know, how are you Too actually expecting to get work done if you've got people at work, you know, yeah. that can't even stay awake? That's oh, incredible. Yeah. Right, right, so you're going to add in the avocado, avocado. oil. Avocado now, oil. this Lovely. is really, really important. I'm going to show you a little bit of information yep. about why. Oh, hello, Jan Turley, who's watching today. She just said, Monique, you look stunning. I'm wearing your creation today. Thank <laughs> you, Jan. 
Um, I love this. This is um, this wrap today is from the wonderful people at Simply Beautiful. So thank you, Jan. You're amazing. Um, on the screen here, we've got the reason why we we in this kitchen use avocado oil. Apart from the health benefits, um, apart from the uh, health benefits that we all know about avocado. Look, here's the thing: if you want to get the right amount of um, uh, amino acids and uh, omegas into your diet, you'd have to eat a lot of avocado every day. To be able to get the nutrition that you need from avocado without having to eat that amount of avocado, especially if you don't like the flavour, it's just a case of actually having adding an, a, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon into your daily diet. Even if you live off smoothies for breakfast, add a teaspoon of avocado oil. It's loaded with potassium, again great for that balance with the potassium sodium makeup in your body. It's got naturally good fats, it's high in fibre. It's got everything that you need. It's, it's a complete food. So particularly for those of you who might be vegan or vegetarian, it has the same amount of omegas that you get from deep sea fish. So if you don't want to eat fish, which I don't want to eat fish, I'm not a fan of fish, this is a great way to get all that goodness into your diet. In fact, I um, use it every morning, Pete. Don't I? I'm just talking to Pete, who's our producer here today and behind the camera. I use it every morning, or Pete uses it every morning, and we cook eggs for breakfast. It's good. It's been the best thing I've ever done, and we cook it in avocado oil. And not only is it oh, great, but the flavour is sensational. That is. What do you nice think thing. of the flavour of that? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's like good, it. eh? Yeah, very good. So that's just looking great. Now, while we were on the other screen, you added yep. in some balsamic as well. Yep, definitely balsamic. See, years ago... Yep, I'm just going to switch my, your element on. My mother used to make a bean salad, and yep. I used to love it. Mm -hmm. The thing that I found when I tried to reproduce it, because she passed away years ago, yep. was you were using, if I remember rightly, it was one of the vinegars, cider vinegar possibly. Oh, yeah. And there'd be about half a cup of sugar that would have to go in it as well. Oh, really? Now, I looked online yep. and I found a lot of other people making the same thing said the exact same thing. So when I started making bean salads for myself, the thought of putting half a cup of sugar into a salad, yeah. just was like, so then I thought, well, I'll do what I do when I make a normal, like a green salad for myself, and I'll just use balsamic, you know, yeah, balsamic and, and, yeah. and olive oil. And I found it worked perfectly. Oh, there really you go. Good, There's you know? a food hack so, right there. <laughs> so yeah, I find the next day it gets even better because obviously the- Oh, it's got time to marinate Yeah, the vinegar like gets right in really nicely, but it's just really a bit of a balance of, of those you know, those different sort of um, products that we've got. How's it taste into you? Good? Mmm. <laughs> so Dano did admit mm. that normally this stays in the fridge and when he gets home from work and he doesn't know what to have for dinner, he gets he gets the bean salad mm. out and snacks on that mm. until he can work out what he has for dinner and then realises he's no longer hungry. That's exactly <laughs> what happens. Often I'm not hungry and that's it. Bit more balsamic? Yep. So is it quite tart? Is that what you're looking for? Um, no, I don't. I don't find it actually is. It seems to just balance out quite well. Mm. I think that salt sort of helps it. But again, some professional food person will tell you what how that works. <laughs> All I know is that it seems to work quite well. And it's tasty to you. Yep. So you're going to pair that up with yep. a very quick kind of omelette eggy scramble. Yep. So it is a protein based uh, dinner with, or a, even a breakfast. This would be great for breakfast too. Yeah, you could certainly eat that for breakfast. You know? And some eggs. I find that it's nice just to have something like this that you can eat whenever you want. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know? I like There's it. no right or wrong. It's just something that you don't feel guilty when you yeah. eat it. Yeah. I mean, at 10 o'clock at night, if you're hungry, you can eat a bowl of it. Yeah, that's so true. I'm not that's sure so if you should, but <laughs> you can certainly do it. So Dino, Dino um, was just saying to me the other day, oh, I want to do a scramble. And I said, why, why is that? And he goes, because you can do it so quickly and you pay so much money when you go to a cafe for it. Let's just do that to go with the beans. Yes. So that's what you're going to do really quickly Definitely. now. Definitely. Pan's already on. Thank We've got you. the avocado oil in there right. for you. So we just got two eggs. So the other night he comes into the studio, we were talking about what he was going to do in today, and I said, oh, do you need milk? Do you need cream? He said, nope, just no, eggs. Just eggs. How come? Well, because it's another one of those things. Yeah, when you go to a cafe and buy yep. scrambled eggs for breakfast, yeah, it'll say scrambled eggs with cream, scrambled eggs with something. Yeah. I suppose I just get tired of food that's got all this other stuff in it that yep. I never really asked for, you know? At the end of the day, <laughs> don't you want to eat something that you know what's in it? I don't know what all you this other beautiful. rubbish put in it. I just have to say. You know, it's so so good. Now, if you can hear another voice, we have Katie English on the couch. We'll be talking to her very shortly about insurance and asking the big questions. And she's also joining in the conversation as well, which is so nice because that's what this studio, studio is all about. Right. It's awesome. What do you think? How's it going, Katie? I'm just wondering when I'm going to get the invitation for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. I let's love it. Let's do this. Let's right. do this. So we've got a pan that is hot. Yep. I won't do my normal trick that I told yeah, you. Yeah, which is you spit in the pan. <laughs> I do. Just, <laughs> just to see. <laughs> but I won't do that for anyone else. I won't do it. So all we do is cool. we've I don't got think that. Katie wants to come to your house for dinner now. The pan has to be hot enough so the eggs start to sort of Cook straight away. go straight away. Yep. And then we just keep moving it around. So you see the secret is to keep moving it, right? Well, def yeah, yeah, because you don't want it, you don't want it going into it or turning into a sort of a rubbery thing because some bit's been sitting on the element for yep. more time than anything else. So look at that. What have we done? 15, 20 seconds? That's my Pretty mind. much. That's it. Mine takes so much longer. I, I think because I put, um, Move it around. put milk in with yep. it. And that would be it. I wouldn't do it any more. So plug that up. Like that. Beautiful. Nice job. Turn the element off. Good job. Because... I'll move that out the way so you can play it up. Osh would be happy with me doing that <laughs> on, my, on my building site. Again. Oh, plate, so many comments. Plate it up like a builder, not like a um, a professional. So, but there you go. Beautiful. How's that? Yay. <laughs> You've done it. There's a builder's breakfast or a builder's dinner for you made by Dino. That's right. Dino. Any time of the day you could have that. So when and we you're ask, not going to feel guilty, are you? No, that's you know? true. That's so, the beauty of it. So when we ask what would Dino do, Dino's here to get you the answers. <laughs> so Dino, give me some. Nails.co.nz. <laughs> now a couple of questions or com comments have come through. Rachel Thompson said, I'm good, thanks. Totally getting some avocado oil again. You've re-inspired me. Um, I, I used to use it a lot. So there you go. Nice. Fantastic, Rachel. That's what we love to hear. And she said, loving the Cardi colour. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks to um, lovely Jan from Simply Beautiful. Look, it's great to have you guys being part of the show. That's what these shows are all about. And if you do want to try that avocado oil, there's the details here on the screen. It's not available in store. You can only buy it online from our friends at Guide to Better Shopping. Uh, you can have it delivered straight to your door. Really cost effective, really good for your health. I'm gonna put it straight out there and say, I'm relishing the benefits. It's really helped with my weight loss over the last few weeks. And even better, the most important thing to me is it tastes great. Tastes lovely. Yeah, it is good. So head to guide to bettershopping.com. I believe it's right there on the front page.